Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm having this gigantic box. So this is actually the LOL OMG Mall of Surprises. We're expecting about 50 surprises in this very big set. As you can see, I need to move it all over here for you to see the whole thing. I am really, really very excited about this. I think we might have to build it up. So we have the cafe and also the boutique. So it's basically one side is the boutique. When you turn it around, it becomes the cafe with an additional uh, pieces here. So let's just, let, let me just turn the box around so they can have a look at it. So basically that is what the front look like. So more surprises, that is what you see on the top. And then let me just flip it over. Really, really big. So that is what you will see in this box. So without further ado, because I got a feeling that it might be a very big project, I'll try to take out the parts from here. And then um, I'll show you how to assemble it as much as I can. So hopefully it's not going to be difficult so i'm cutting the box open now as we speak so hopefully i can actually easily remove it and remove the parts okay i have already opened up this part so it actually has quite a bit of things first let me just get it out and i'll show you what it is so it has a special delivery box i'm going to put it aside first and then what else do we have here? Woo. Okay. So this one is another special delivery box, but I think this is the part of it which make up this stand. So this is actually a wooden a mix of wood. So it's plaster wood, I think. So it's relatively quite heavy. I'm gonna just put it aside first and see what else do we have in this box. Um of course, we have the instruction booklet, which will tell us how to build it. And then we have yet another box. I think this must be um, maybe the surprises and also uh, the cafe accessories. So I'm going to just put it. Also, I think so. I'm not too sure, right? Um, I think that's about it. Let me just check the other side. And make sure that there's really nothing. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh well. There's still a couple of boxes. Mm, just bear with me. I think there isn't any more thing. But it just felt like there's something. I think that's about it. I guess. Let me just take a, tilt it up a little bit. And see if there's anything else. Uh, nope. That's about it. That's the whole box. So let me just put the box aside first. And then, uh, okay, <sighs> it's stuck there. So there is also one part here. I think this is something that we will definitely need to use. So we have this, this one, and this one, and not forgetting this gigantic one. So these uh, four boxes make up that more of surprises. And let's just open up this heaviest box because I think it contains the, the thing that we might need to build. The rest of the things so we just put it aside first and then we'll open it as we need to. Before that, I think I need to show you the instruction booklet. Okay, let me just cut it open first. Oh, the boxes just fell. So pardon the noise. So this instruction booklet should come in many different um languages but i don't think we need to worry too much about the languages so this is how the uh, mall will look like and these are all the accessories in it and there must be instruction as to how to build it oh okay so it's telling you all these parts i'm going to just open them and make sure that uh, these are the parts that we can actually and this is exactly how to build it here you go and there's more here and that's about it. So let me just take out the, open up this box first. And then look at all the pieces. 
and then I'll come to you shortly. Let me just open that up and then I will show you all the pieces before I start assembling. All right, I just opened up these um, aqua boxes. So this is what we have inside here. So actually, this is the main of the, um, I think, the whole shopping mall. Well, I need to actually uh, screw them together. So these are the screw bits. And don't worry, it's very easy to actually assemble. So if, uh, if you've done a bookshelf before and things like that, you won't find it too difficult. So hopefully, it's also a very easy task for me and easy for you to have a look at it. So let's just um, get started, shall we? So let me just look at the instructions in terms of what we will need for this construction. It should be quite easy. So the first step is we actually need this piece, the big piece here, this one. And um, we need the this piece here. So can you see there's some connecting holes here? I think what we need to do is to connect them and screw the bits and pieces here. There's some instructions from, well, M, uh, MGA Entertainment. So what I do is, I think this one with these two means, um, this floor looks like this one. So you're just matching the design of the, um, I think the, the cafe design and also the um, boutique design. Uh, I should be able to fit it in, but this doesn't seem like it would go in. Maybe I have to look at the instructions and make sure that I have it correctly. Well, that is correct. So let me just pop it in first and then uh, I will screw the pieces together. All right, I've just managed to slot it in. You just need to use a bit of force. It's very, very tight. So now we need to connect this part. So basically, you just get a screwdriver and then get the longer, um, these longer nails and you start screwing the bit. The, 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 uh, um, I'll say just screw it in. They don't uh, suggest us using power tools, so I guess for the same reason, you don't want to actually damage this, um, I say this um, very delicate board. After all, it's not meant, power tool can be really hard on this board if it's been drilling too fast. So you're better off actually using a screwdriver and some manual force and screwing that in. So I got the first one in. Let me just get the second one in. Okay, second one into this hole. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Just like what I said, if you have done a bookshelf before, it should be quite easy for you. All right, I've screwed it properly already. So it's standing really well. Then you have to open up this box that says secret delivery in this aqua color. And in this box itself, you get a few of uh, accessories, which is one of them is this one. And you got this and also this from that box itself. And of course, you also get some accessories, which we'll use later. So these are the things you get from the aqua box itself. And then what we need to do is basically, um, this one needs to be, according to the instruction booklet, this one needs to be populated down here. Okay, can you see there's a... Actually, there's a two holes here, sort of. So you need to make sure it actually align properly. And of course, you need to screw it down again. So I'm going to rest it down here. Oh, is it resting properly? Oh yeah, it's not resting properly because there is a shape here. So you need the two smaller screw. So what you do is you make sure you pop it in properly and you start using the screw bit. Okay. To screw it in 
like this. Okay, I'm just going to use another one. Uh, let me see how best can I show you these ones. Okay, I'm moving it like that so that you can actually see what I'm doing here. So you got to actually screw these two in. All right, I got it assembled already. It needs a bit of muscles to get them in, otherwise it's quite all right. Then you open up this purple color box. There's a few things that actually helps getting these, uh, uh, perhaps these um, shopping uh, more assembled properly. So these are just bits and pieces that you need to uh, put inside here. So I need one of the pieces according to the instructions. Of course, you have this, which is the sideboard. And you have a couple more things inside here. I'm just going to pop it here. I still haven't found the things that I need. This one actually looks like a cake, but it's not a cake. Anyway, uh, what is that thing that I need? Yep. This is the one that I need from the next instructions. Of course, it comes with also this one. I don't think I have anything missed up, so I'm going to just put a bunch of things here. And let me just check the box. Up. There's nothing already, so this box is being cleared out. So the instruction does say that after I've installed this one, I need to install this curly weedy thingy. So this is actually the cloak hanger. And according to the instruction, don't put it this way, okay? This is the wrong side. You put it this way. So you should actually go something like this. Onto the uh, tower itself. There should be a hole here. Uh, not very clear, but there are holes here which I have to pop in. So there are holes here. You see there's a hole here that I have to pop in here. So I just need to... Clip it in until I hear the clipping sound. And once I have that, then let me see what I clip. Yep, can you hear that? Yep, that's the sound that you want to hear. Okay, so now it's quite stable now. Uh, I need this circle thingy. I think it's also a crook hanger or something to put it. I think something like that. Let me just see whether I put it properly. Yep, this way down. Okay, here. So I guess it helped with the rotation or something. So after you put this one out, this one down, the instruction says just start assembling things here, which is easy enough. So this one you put here. You just have to pop it in here and here. Should be easy. I don't think I'm doing it as easily. Just hold on first. Let me just pop it in first and I'll show you. All right, I pop it in. So basically what you need to make sure is you hear that sound pop in and then you should be fine. Yeah, hear that sound? This one needs to happen. And that actually finished that part that I need to get done. And I need to do the second story here, which is this piece. This piece behind. Um, need to slot in here. Can you see these two holes? So, and of course, this one needs to be insert. Can you see that? You need to insert there. And then you make sure these get slot in properly. And there's another screw bit here, which I need to screw on. Uh, let me just basically stop them properly and then I'll start screwing it in and I'll show you shortly. All right, I've secured it. So these two screw bits here, I thought to just save you the trouble uh, of looking at me struggling and screwing it in. So everything seems to be working according to what is needed. So the next thing is uh, we need to put in the thing that looks like a cake here. So here has to be connected here. So these have to go this way. Yep. Now can you see that? That seems all right now. This one 
looks like a mirror. You see that? So basically, what we do is I think we just lock it in. I think. Let me see. Hope I haven't got it wrong. Oh, nope. Before that, there's a screw that you need to put it in. Uh, let's look like a small piece of screw. Just bear with me first. I just want to make sure that there's no other screw bits that's needed. Uh, doesn't seem like it. There's only one last screw bit that needs to go through, which is a small one. Very strange. It's all the way down here. All right, where is my screwdriver? Yep. All right, let me just get his screw on and I'll show you shortly. All right, I've sort of got it in and then you put this mirror in. Um, there's something very wrong with the screw. Uh, when you're screwing this, please be very careful because I think the screw was really lousy. Um, I think uh, my screwdriver very much has sort of destroyed the screw a little bit. So now i have a problem where it's wobbly so when you install this you have to be very careful i'm not sure why though so uh i will get it fixed up sort of and make sure that it's stable later because the screw is now damaged so i sort of have to get some tools to get the screw out get a new screw in properly and the things like that anyway this is not going as planned so basically you put this mirror in and you start assembling the rest of the things it's a very easy build it's just that i think the screw they gave you isn't that good or maybe i have too much muscles that i was able to sort of perhaps create a lot of strength that destroyed the screw i'm not sure which one is the case so anyway you have to put the last few bits on it which is this one you put this one it's just locking it in and you start putting the rest of the things for example this ladder here is actually for decorating purpose and also this one here let me just pop it in for you and then i'll show you shortly all right i got them installing again you have to hear that snap sound so that you know that it's actually connected properly now we just need to make up the uh hopefully something easy this time around nothing too difficult please okay i think you need this piece and then um i think it's time to open up another piece of uh accessories maybe okay this is the piece that i have here and then we need to slot in this <laughs> that looks like an umbrella okay uh let me just figure out the instruction book pardon me i wasn't very expert in putting in stuff i think it goes this way and then uh, okay okay yep it's just snapping up okay i think so okay we just basically yep just like this nothing too difficult just like this now you have your bench and then what happened is you need to put into the base which is this one um okay here so there is actually three three point here pardon me there's so three point here okay i might move the camera a bit down so that you can actually see what's going on here okay and on this board there's actually three points and over here there is also three point one two three you just need to connect them properly like this way again this is another snapping game you need to make sure it snaps in easy said than done come on snap in okay i snap in one snap in two and the third one here yeah. 
It is not supposed to be this difficult. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I think it's because I have a very small workplace to work on this. There's no screws needed here, which is a good thing. The screws are causing me a little bit of a grief, wanting to actually get it properly done. So this one, I think, go behind here. And uh, nope, not here. This part, let me see. Um, I'm not seeing a connection point. Okay, yep. Here, right, can you see there's actually three connecting points here, here, and here. So this is also what you need to do is you pop in this. Again, it's a very simple exercise of just putting it inside like this. Ta-da! That's what you do. Pop it in properly and then that's all. You need to do for this construction and then let me see anything else whoa not really i think i've completed it the only sub part for me is to fix up this one which i will so as you can see it's turning properly this side oh my backdrop is falling just hold on first let me fix that up all right so basically this is the front bit where you see my boutique, BB boutique. Yeah, that's where they got all their um, accessories, isn't it? Remember all my videos when they say BB boutique, that's what it is. And then when you turn it behind, you have the cafe. Here, can you see? So this one actually formed bits of the cafe, I guess. So you should actually connect somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. There's this one bit that I haven't done which is this one so it should actually be connected somewhere here or something like that let me just yep i think i got it connected i just need to make sure that it clip in really well so one part is the cafe another part is actually the um the boutique itself so you turn when you play i think you just put it aside something like that and then um, half here half there i guess uh, let me see whether I got the window in properly first from the instruction booklet. Uh, pretty sure that is what it's supposed to be. Yep. I think this is what it's supposed to be. If there's anything wrong, I think... Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. This is like a bit unstable. Let me just have a look at that. Oh, 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 everything dropped. Hold on, people. Let me just fix it up and then I'll come back to you shortly. All right, I got it connected properly now. I think that's about time for us to put on the decorations on the table. And I think uh, we also need to open up the last box, which is this box. I think this is where all the surprises is. Sorry, this video is getting too lengthy. Ooh, ooh, that's the exciting part. Oh my God, things are falling. What's that? Okay, so we have the cloak hanger that is falling out, not too... Serious? Let me just put them back in first so that I can show you. Okay, I have few, um, I think these uh, wrapping papers or the papers that you use for your shopping bag. Let's just have a quick look at all the accessories here that comes as part of the surprises. I'm going to just hold it up a little bit. Sorry, I just hit the camera. So you have the cloak hanger. Oh, the cloak hanger keep on dropping. So there is two pink and two blue color here. And then you have three sizes of shopping bag. When I say three sizes, it's because I, I can see that it was three. So it's three sizes, uh, three bags. And then you have the OMG sunglasses here. Ooh, look at these sunglasses. Woo, woo. Quite nice. It's a heart shaped sunglasses. And then you have another very cool sunglasses that is pinkish. Can you see? Oh, my camera. Yep. It finally focused a little bit. Okay. Come on. Okay. I think this is the best that I can do for you <laughs> with my camera. It's not focusing properly. Sorry, guys. Okay. Another one is this. Can you see properly? Yes. Three sunglasses. And then we have 
some heart earrings, square earrings, round earrings, and star earrings. Okay, something is missing here. Maybe just now you could have dropped on the floor. I have to search for it later. And then we have bags. I hope I didn't miss the earring. I quite like that earring, okay? And then we have uh, bags. Woo, that's a very nice bag. And then another one. A yellow and also a pink color checker bag. And then you have two shoulder bag. Which is really nice and beautiful. Goodness, wow, you can put something in definitely. It's very hard, but the opening is really big. So you can put something in. This is like a leopard design bag. Look at it. Look at the aqua color. It looks really, really nice here. And then, of course, we have the small, um, smaller shoes, which is so adorable. It's like a bunny shoes and some pink color boots. And then we have some OMG shoes, which will be very nice for my OMG dolls. I might not be able to take them all out, but they should be what it is. Uh, I'm going to look at, um, I think that's what we have for today's video. It's a bit chaotic, um, but we get there, I think. We eventually get there, I think. So what you do is you basically can decorate your boutique by putting in the sunglasses. Definitely could do that. Okay, see, I put on some sunglasses. And then, of course, the back, you can, well, sell it somewhere on the top. And then, um, okay, you see, I was putting the handbag there. You can put the handbag here. And you just basically decorate whatever you need to. And then another handbag here, maybe. Okay, if you can see it here, I put all the handbags there. And of course, the cloak hanger go here. Pardon me, my fingers. Okay, you must have clothes, of course, to start with. Then you put the clothes all here. That's decorative. That's really nice. And if you have all your OMGs, um, does have additional um Perhaps clothes, you can very much also add on to this to make your uh, BB boutique a fantastic place. Okay, we have something like a computer for you to actually put um, your orders in. And then, of course, we have some drink bottles. So basically, inside the drink bottles, you can actually order them. I'll put it here. And then... You have a pink color bottle also, and the orange color bottle, and you have this uh, pastry stand, or cookie stand, I call it. Pardon the noise. Okay, this cookie stand, you can very much open it, I think. Come on, can you open? Oh, yep. <laughs> Silly me. You open on the other side, I think. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Okay. So basically, I think I would have, okay, it should be like this. This is so strange. I, may, I must have got it in a wrong way. But anyway, you can do this. So there's actually a cup holder here. I'm sorry, cup holder. So you can put your cups here, inside here. Take away for two. Here you go. Take away. And then you have um, two donuts. Yep. Can you see two donuts? Yep. So you can put it here, I think. Put your two donuts here. Yum. And then, of course, there is a heart shaped cookie. And this heart shaped cookie can break into two. <laughs> Okay, so you put them in. I, I will figure out if I've done it correctly. I can't believe it's this way, but okay. Anyway, I've covered it up again. So you should have this like that. And I'll pop it here. 
and like what I say, um, you can put in the rest of the accessories. And I'm not sure what you think about this. Um, these are more of surprises. You call it more of surprises. I think there are also the OMG houses, but at the moment, I think that's what we have for today's video. It is fairly, fairly big. Um, and tall itself. It's a beautiful set, but just. Just be sure that the screwdrivers actually work properly. I'll fix it up after this video. Uh, it took long enough for us to finally finish this video. I'm not sure whether I will be brave enough to do another video that, in, that involves constructions of it. But nevertheless, if you like this video, put a thumbs up or maybe just put a thumb up to encourage me. It's just such a chaotic thing when you're not familiar with it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. And for those who have been following me, I hope this video is good enough because I did struggle a little bit trying to screw the bits and pieces together. With that, my friends, till we see you in the next video. Say ya, bye!